Hey guys, welcome. I'm Ashley Amick with The Art of the Rose, and we are going to be painting our uh, birdhouse today. So I did get one coat of white primer on here. Um, I only did one coat because I don't have any other white. Once I get done with this, there's not gonna be any white showing. So I only needed to do one coat for a primer. Um, that way all the colors that I'm gonna put on here are gonna have body and depth to them. So uh, one coat of white is all I've done so far. And I am just gonna start getting my base coating colors on there. Hi guys, hi Jessica, I'm so glad you're with me, hun. Uh, I decided to bring my whole cart over because I feel like every single time I do a live, I'm forgetting something. I don't have something with me. So I'm hoping today with my cart being here that we'll have everything that we need. So I didn't even get myself pulled up over here for comments. Hey, Danae, how are you, honey? It is uh, a beautiful day out. It's nice and toasty. I think it's uh, 89 degrees in my shop right now. It's nice and hot. So this paint should dry rather quickly. What are you guys up to today? It's just, uh, we went and picked up Carly's uh, school packet for the week because we've been trying to print out those papers every week and it has been a nightmare. So we just went and did that and ate some lunch together and I've been working on laundry and then here I am. So I wanted to join you guys. I know we haven't um, I let, I released this pattern a couple of weeks ago and, um, I haven't had the time to actually get on and, and do a live with it. We're not going to be able to do a live on every project that we do, but I do obviously want to give you guys as much as I can. So, um, I just started with coral number 15 and just put that in the center on my flower. And you guys, I brought my whole thing over here telling y'all I can't forget because I'm always forgetting everything. You know what I didn't bring? My bucket of water. Give me a second. I got to grab it. All right, typical Ashley fashion. I'm always forgetting something. So that one's gonna go into the water. I'm done on coral. I'm gonna move on to uh, sky blue. So this is sky blue number one. Oh, Danae, you're working from home. That's nice. I, I get to work from home every day too, so I definitely enjoy that. All righty. I really love coral sky blue or seafoam green, any of those, and then lime green. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I enjoy putting those colors together and I enjoy the pop that comes from it. So that's kind of why I picked these colors. You know, you, you can always pick any other color that you want. This is just what I picked. So I know some of you guys have bought uh, and picked up your Cotman brushes, these mop brushes that I'm using. I'm curious to know if anybody's uh, had that chance to actually use them yet and what you think about it. I wanna know if you guys like them, if you feel like they're better than what you were using before. We love these brushes, but I wanna know if you guys like them too. All right, so this is that sky blue number one, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that one up. Let's see, I, I have um, lime green, black, and dark purple left. So I'm gonna do lime green because it's one of my lighter versions out of all these, so. Danae says she loves the brushes. She used them yesterday, Woohoo! I'm so glad to hear that. These brushes are, oh, man, they're so nice. They glide so much easier than any other brushes we've used. And then you can also hide your brush strokes with them really well. I love them. Let's see, hey Brittany, I didn't, I'm sorry, I just now saw you on here, honey. She says she loves her mop brush. It works amazing. She used it last night on her gnome. Good, 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 good. I'm so glad to hear that. Cause you know, we tell you guys what we use, but I know everybody's different. Everybody has different preferences. So I'm always just curious if it's, if you guys find it to be easier as well, or if it's just kind of us in our own little world. So I'm so glad y'all are here. Um, it's been kind of like the last couple of weeks has just been crazy and we've been running around like chickens with our heads cut off. And me personally, um, there's been a lot of computer work. I hate, I despise computer work. And so I feel like that's probably been why I've uh, been part of so much, um, you know, just feeling behind and feeling like I'm not doing everything I need to be doing. It's because I've been so busy on the computer. 
and I, I don't like being on the computer. So maybe one of these days I'll hire somebody that can do all the computer stuff for me. But it's been kind of nice because this week's been a little bit slower so far. I know it's still the beginning of the week, but um, I've got a lot of the stuff done I needed to get done last week. So maybe this week I'll actually have more time to paint. Because if I'm painting, I'm happy. If I'm on the computer doing work, not so much. I don't like being on the computer. So, hi Sherry, I'm so glad you're here with me. You said I make it look so easy, honey. I promise you, patience and practice, and you can make it look easy as well. It's just one of those things that just takes a little bit of time, and it really takes having patience with yourself. Um, it wasn't always easy. It just takes, takes time kind of getting there and adjusting. So... Uh, let's see, Brittany is saying that she can't wait to finish her army gnome. Hey, I'm curious, Brittany, you're the one that was asking about the flush color this morning. Were you able to mix it yourself and come up with a, a decent um, color for that? Uh, I know Saturday we were running low on some colors, so I did go to the store yesterday morning. I dropped off more birdhouses because we were sold out of those and then um, dropped off a bunch more white and black paint. So I do know as of yesterday when I left the store, every single color was in stock in some kind of capacity, at least in one size. Most of them you had two sizes though to choose from. So if anybody was there Saturday and we were ran out of something, I'm so sorry. I did refill those uh, yesterday. All right, so this is just that dark shading purple. You guys don't typically see me using a shading color as a base. But I, with all the, the coral and the sky blue and the lime green, I felt like this dark, deep purple was a much better contrast than our light kind of pastel purple. So typically I'm not gonna use a shader in the background, but I, per I just liked the way this looked a lot better. So I'm just kind of getting this coat on the top, making sure I'm also getting my sides along the way. Your sides you always want to make sure you got paint on your sides so that it can seal that MDO Let's see. now one thing too about these darker colors is it's kind of hard to get it smoothed out because you can see your brush strokes pretty easily so you can always just go right back over top in the opposite direction of what you originally put it on uh, the direction you originally put it on with your brush and then a lot of times that will help to kind of cover up those strokes of where you can see through so try that out if you guys are having an issue with that okay i got a little bit of blue taken up in here from the bird but if i keep messing with it it's just gonna make it worse so i'm gonna leave it alone all right so as far as my uh dark shading purple goes I am done with that one. I don't have the number written down for my purple. Ooh, I wanna say it's 23. Don't quote me. I'll have to double check on that one. All right, so we have uh, lime green, coral, dark purple, and sky blue. And then the only other base color I'm gonna have is black. So I am just getting all my colors base coated on here and then uh, once this dries, of course, that's when you can go in and start doing your shading and your outline. So, let's see. Hey, Zach, how are you? Hope you're having a good day at work. I miss you. Uh, hey, Jennifer, I'm so glad you're here with me, hon. All right, y'all. Uh, so, uh, our live tonight, our sneak peek live. <gasps> I've been uh, working on obviously cutting some stuff today and um, painting some samples. I still got one more sample I need to finish before tonight. And I think you guys are gonna love what we have. I really hope you do. This camera keeps turning and I thought I tightened it, but apparently I didn't. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go live tonight. At, oh, Danae 28, is that my shading purple? Thank you. Uh, I can't recall the numbers. Um, but tonight I'm going to go live at seven and I think we have one, two, three, three, four, 
three, four, five. I think I have six or seven patterns tonight that we'll show you guys for the week. Um, so I hope y'all are excited. I'm excited. I cannot wait. Um, I, I really can't wait to see what you guys do with all the new stuff we have coming out. That's part of the excitement for us. It's getting to see you guys be really creative and take it in a totally different direction. We love that. Okay. All right, y'all. So base coat's done. I just have my black, my shading purple, lime green, coral, and sky blue. I do already have one uh, dry that I did earlier. So the only difference between these two, if you can see on the coral flower, I did come in here um, with coral and a script liner, and I just backed those lines up. That's the only difference between these two. Uh, so other than that, this is the exact same of what you guys just saw. So now whenever I start on my shading, I'm trying to see if it's easier. I want you guys to have the, a good view of it. Um, but whenever I start on my shading, I, I'm going to use that same brush the whole time. So I like to start with my lighter colors. Now, when it comes to my flower, I'm going to actually use my script liner on that one. Um, and I'm going to do some shading orange. I'm trying to remember how I did this on my example I brought out to the store a couple of weeks ago. I can't quite remember. So we're just going to go for it and see, see how it goes. Kind of those little C, open C's is what I'm doing. I, um, whenever you have a, a, something like this that doesn't have a whole lot of surface area to it, you don't want to bring in a really thick shader because it'll end up being too, too dark and it's going to take away from that original color that you put down on there. So that's when I'm going to use, sometimes I have to use my script liner for my quote unquote shading, um, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to my sky blue, and I like to shade sky blue with teal number seven. So let's see. Uh, Maria said, is this store open? Uh, Maria, our store is closed on Mondays. That is our day off, um, but we are open Tuesday through Sunday. So Tuesday through Saturday, it's nine to six, and Sunday, 10 to five. So I did get some more of these in store yesterday. Uh, so those of you, I know somebody had, was at the store this weekend and wanted one and they called me and asked me if I'll get more out there. So I went ahead and, uh, Zach got up yesterday early in the morning and, uh, cut these for me. So I took them out there last night. I mean, not last night, yesterday morning. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that, that, that bird is so small. I don't like to put too much on it. I like to keep it a little bit more simple. Hey, Marcy, I hope you're enjoying your day off. Y'all, Marcy is the one who works the store during the week. She's phenomenal. She's the one that's so incredibly helpful. Um, we love Marcy. So thank you, Marcy, for all that you do. We appreciate you, honey. Hi, Debbie, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Mom, hi, Deidre. All right, so Deidre says, thanks for showing us how to do the base coats because I need that step still. All right, Deidre, I understand. That's why we did it together. So uh, let's see. Uh, you know what I need to do? I actually need to stop for a second. I need to get my polka dots on here because I need those to dry. I really should have started with the polka dots first. Um, so these are those Martha Stewart sponges you guys always see me using. I think they're, I thought they were $5.99 on Amazon, but I actually looked the other day and they're $6.49 on Amazon. But I love these things. So um, let's see. I'm trying to decide how big, I think I want these big, big. So I'm gonna use the large one. This one's one and a half inches. And I'm gonna do my light purple on top of my shading. Get you a really great contrast here. So let's see. I like to always, I mean, no right or wrong on here, but I do like to try to make sure I have some kind of going off of, you know, the paint that looks like it's not just stuck in the middle, you know? Uh, so that's just one of those things I personally go for. Whatever you choose to do, no right or wrong. That's just polka dots. Y'all, did I tell I told y'all yesterday that we had um, a nest in here with the baby birds, you know? 
Well, all four of them were trying to learn how to fly this weekend. And um, Zach came out last night and there was already a cat out here. And uh, I don't know about where what happened to all the birds, but this morning I haven't found any of them. I don't know if the little sh stray cats that keep coming over here got a hold of them last night. But I'm really hoping they come back. Or at least are safe wherever they are. I feel like I talk about these baby birds all the time. I love these birds. All right, so oh, this one kind of got a little, a little funky. Let me fix that. All right, so uh, my light purple polka dots on top of that dark purple. You guys see that contrast? That's exactly why I went with the dark underneath and the light on top. Uh, I just love the way that it looks. So let's see, Brittany said she just ordered some. Have you used any of her brushes too? Uh, hold on, Deborah. Hi, Ashley. If this is the bird red or what color did you shade with? Uh, hey, Deborah. I used um, on the coral number 15, I used my shading orange number 17. And then on the bird, it's uh, sky blue number one. And I used teal number seven on my shader. I hope that that answers uh, the question so far. Sherry says that's beautiful. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate that. All right. So um, I'm also now on my black. I am going to do white polka dots, and since I already have the really fat polka dots, now I'm going to go to the really, really tiny one. Again, you know the contrast between colors? This is kind of that contrast between the sizes um, from your polka dots that I love seeing together. So just this one is, uh, let me see, this one is a half inch. It says it's half inch. I don't know. It looks even smaller to me, but I'm going to do this one on all the black. Hopefully I don't accidentally put my sponge down on my purple. Knowing me, that's something I would do. Because I still have the wet purple paint here. I, don't, I know some of you guys uh, posted that you, you had ordered these sponges. I'm curious to know if you guys love them as well. I think these sponges are just amazing and I love all the different sizes that they have and I don't know what is up with this thing but it keeps turning y'all it's driving me nuts sorry about that all right I'm just finishing out these polka dots on all that black Trying to make sure you guys all can see that. All right, so Mary's saying the question of how many coats do I need for the base coat? The answer varies from project to project, so it depends on what we're doing. I can't read the rest of the comment because it's got the dot, dot, dot. Um, but yes, Mary is correct. This one I did one coat of white because I didn't leave anything white. So that one coat of white just allowed all the rest of my colors to lay down and they, they all of these colors showed up the way they're supposed to show up. Had I not put the white down first, these colors would look a lot darker and I could keep going over and over and over top of them and some of them wouldn't come out the way that we're wanting them to. So your base is always gonna be important, your priming coat. It just depends on what we're painting. There is no one, one answer fits every project. It doesn't work that way. So this particular project, I did one coat of white. Something that is gonna, like the gnomes that have a lot of white on the beard that stays, those I would do two coats. So since this one didn't have any white that stayed, I only had to do one. All right, so one more shade to do, and that's going to be on my green, my lime green. I am going to use a dark green number 12. Let me see. I think this one, it looks like it's, wet, it's uh, got enough water in it the way I like it. I'm trying to remember... I struggled with this when I did it the first time, knowing just kind of where to take my brush. I almost wanted it to look like shingles, but you know, like on a roof, but I'm not that talented. So I just kind of did it like this.
Now guys, typically you guys would see me do swish marks in here. Because this is such a small space, I'm not going to with my shader. I'll do it with some white and maybe even some black outline, like on, you know, do some wisps with that. But I'm not gonna do them with my shader brush because the spacing here is very, very small. So the once I start coming in with that, it's gonna end up going and looking a little bit too thick and too dark up there and I don't want that look, so. Uh, Deidre says, what brush are we using for the dark green? Deidre, this is just my shader. This is like a shader number 12. Um, I don't have the brand on this one. I ordered you guys those Royal Gold because Royal Gold is what I use on everything else. I don't even know the brand on this one. And then all the new brushes that I really should have kept some for me, I didn't and I sold them to you guys. So I'm still using old brushes, but that's okay. And then our dot sponges, these, uh, the Martha Stewart, it's a pack of six on Amazon for $6.49. These are just our favorite. So I got a lot of questions coming in. I hope I'm keeping up with you guys. Carolyn says, the dots are so cute. Where did you get the dot sponges? Carolyn, those are all Amazon. Martha Stewart on Amazon. They are fantastic. You guys will love them. All right. Now, he's ready for me to start outlining. I am going to have a little bit of an issue because I, I still got a lot of wetness going on, but that's okay. We're going to do our best and get through it. And it's going to be one of those things if I can't... Um, you know, if the paint starts kind of separating a little bit, I'll have to do touch-ups after it dries. So, all right, now I'm gonna get my black. I do keep a squirt bottle of black that's already a little bit watered down for me. So, so I don't have to water the black down every time because I use that one the most. I'm gonna turn it because that's really, really wet. So I'm gonna turn it and try to work from here a little bit. Let's see. I'm just gonna come in here right now and I'm, I'm simply outlining the middle of this flower, taking away all the white that you can see and just button those lines up together. This one got cut really deep on, on the CNC and so I had to save this one here and keep it at the house because it's one of those that it's a little too deep. So that's why you're seeing me having to go back and forth on these lines because some of these lines are just a bit deeper than I typically like. So, alrighty. No right or wrong on this, guys, quite honestly. I wish I had my original one here because I don't exactly remember the way I did it, but I'm just going for it. And it'll come out however it comes out. I'm gonna give them a couple of little eyelashes and take some of that excess off my brush because he's got a little eye. Alrighty. You guys, I, I really, whenever I'm sitting here and I'm focused and it's just so quiet, I really wish y'all could talk to me. It's so hard to be able to focus and keep up with comments, but I'm so glad y'all are here. Bear with me as I finish this and then I'll get caught up on any comments that are on there or any questions. Y'all, our group has only been live for mm, a little bit over a month, like a month and a week. We're already at almost a thousand followers. I am so excited about that. You guys have been adding your friends and telling people about us and sending people our way. Um, and we just wanted to thank you all for that. This has just been awesome. The response has been absolutely phenomenal. And I feel like you guys are enjoying it just as much as we are, so. Uh, Kimberly says, when you base coat, do you always use the white or what? Uh, Kimberly, typically I'm going to use white. Uh, there are other circumstances where I'll use reindeer brown or red. It really just depends on um, what product I'm doing, what project I'm working on. If I'm doing something like a reindeer, I'm gonna base coat that in brown. If I'm doing something like a Santa Claus, I'm gonna base coat that in um, red. 
It's all very, very dependent on what you're doing. If you have a lot of red going on, then you're gonna do red. If you got a lot of brown going on, you're gonna do brown. Um, if you got something that's primarily green, you're gonna base coat it green. It all just depends. Uh, anything that has a pastel in it, you'll need, you'll need white underneath it. But some of your darker tones, you know, if you have a piece that has a, like for instance, a Christmas tree, I'm not gonna paint a Christmas tree white for a prime. That doesn't make sense. Obviously, I'm gonna do that in green. So it's uh, very, it varies, it's dependent upon what pieces we're doing, and that is also gonna be dependent upon how many coats you're gonna need down. There is no uh, one answer fits all, unfortunately. So. I feel like I'm moving like a snail, y'all. I feel like I'm always saying that too. I'm trying to remember on here, I don't remember if I fully outlined it. I think I did. Yeah, I think I'll just fully outline it. I thought I was gonna try to do the stitch, but I don't know that that would look good. You guys talk to yourself when y'all paint too and answer your own questions, because I know I do. All right, so Kimberly says, uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, we'll be over there this day, this week to get our stuff. Yay, that's awesome, Kimberly. By the way, anybody who's already placed any orders online, they're all at the store ready to go. Everything is in stock. Anything that's online is in stock. We pull orders every day. Uh, Marcy pulls them when she gets there during the day or in the morning on the weekdays. And then obviously, you know, anytime we're there, we're pulling orders. So, um, any of the blanks and stuff like that, if you've ordered already, you can go ahead and go pick them up. We have them ready to go. This green, this uh, dark green number 12 is still really wet. So this is gonna be one that I probably will need to do a little bit of touch-ups after it dries. Unfortunately, um, this exterior paint is not like an acrylic. It doesn't blend like acrylic. It doesn't dry quickly like acrylic, you know, like craft paint. So um, typically what I've found is if you're seeing something and it's not quite working the way you need it to and it's wet, you just gotta wait on it to dry and then try it again. But if you're really trying to work with it when it's wet and you keep going back over it, it's honestly gonna make it more tacky and it just, be, uh, like the paint's gonna get real tacky on you. Not you're making it tacky. Uh, but the paint will get really tacky on you and then it'll start uh, being raised and you'll see all the brush strokes and it won't be pretty. So if you're having an issue, wait for it to dry, as long as it's dry to the touch, you know, and then try it again. So drying times, if it's nice and sunny outside, typically it only needs 10 or 15 minutes. It all depends on the weather, obviously. Okay, y'all, so for my black outline, I'm done. I'm gonna wash out my script liner and I'm gonna get some white to do our highlights. So Deidre says she loves our Facebook Live videos. She forgets at times that you can't see her because she feels like we're having a painting party. Oh, thank you, Deidre, I'm so glad. Deidre, I also wanted to tell you, I have personally, okay, I only go to the store twice a week, y'all, so I'm not there every day, but I've personally been to the store the last week or maybe a week and a half, and I've seen at least three different people came in the store and told me that Deidre sent them our way. So thank you so much for that. I know that you've been putting in legwork and just letting people know about us. Because if I've personally seen three people that have come in and told me that you sent them, I know there's a lot more that I didn't see. So thank you so much for that, Deidre. We really appreciate that. That's exactly how small businesses grow and thrive is from others helping to get the word out about what we do. So we appreciate that. I don't know if y'all saw, but I was just chit chatting and I uh, took that black paint and accidentally smeared it. So I had to kind of fix, fix my boo-boo right quick. Now I'm gonna move on to my white. So this white is watered down, y'all. It's always watered down. I need it watered down so that it will glide the way I want it to. So this is kind of when you're going to add those details up here on the roof because it's such a small area that you don't want to overload it with too much. Honestly, I could probably water down that paint a little more because some of the strokes are a little thicker than I personally care for, but that's okay. 
I hope my Wi-Fi is better. I have you guys on our like Verizon Wi-Fi hotspot instead of our regular house Wi-Fi. So I'm hoping that that picture stays a little clearer than it typically has been. I'm now just coming over top of these polka dots and giving it a little highlight to it, a little depth and dimension. Now this is super, super wet, so yeah, I think it's not gonna quite work on that eyeball, but that's okay. I'll come back and do a little white swish on there um, after it's dry. Honestly, can't say I'm really loving the flower at this point. It is what it is. I'm not quite per happy with it, but oh well. All right, y'all. There's my finished product. I hope you guys love it. This one does come with a uh, co-roll steel at the bottom. I just don't have any cut up right now. So uh, all the ones at the store do have coal roll steel. My example just doesn't at the moment. But that is my final, uh, my final look. When this dries, I'm gonna come back in here and get a little white dot on the eyeball because I always get white dots on our eyeballs, um, but it needs to be dry. It's just way, way, way too wet right now. So I hope you guys like it. I'm going to uh, see you guys at seven o'clock tonight for the live look at our new, um, new releases that we're gonna have this week. So I hope to see y'all then. And I just, let me do a quick look over and make sure that I have uh, answered questions and comments. Debbie says the Wi-Fi is better. Thank goodness, Debbie. Thank you, thank you. Danae says that's so cute. Thank you, Danae. You guys are so sweet. Hey, Christy, I didn't even see you in here. Good to see you, honey. All right, I'm so glad the internet's been better. Woohoo! Yeah, so this little guy, I'll be carrying around with me and keeping him close by because that's, it just seems to be give a lot better picture to you guys as well. So, all right, thank y'all for joining me. I will see you guys at 7 p.m. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am. We're gonna have so much fun tonight. So I'll see you guys in a few hours and y'all enjoy the rest of your day until then. Bye guys.